what's going on YouTube fly car guy here it's been a while uh, yeah I think it's time to finally start this up it's been here buried in the garage since November so yeah I am going to start it up for the first time since November so been sitting on the tender during this whole time. If you're new to the channel, this is my baby, my 2013 Maserati or Maserati, however you want to say it, Quattroporte S. So 2013 is the last year for this body style. So I wanted to get it because to me it was the last classic of the of the Maserati um, I went through this before on one of my earlier videos but for anybody that's new and didn't go back yet designed by Pina Farino Farina I always mess up these Italian words so yeah he designed for Ferrari Maserati some other people so yeah i have the 2013 could have got a newer body when i got this but like i said i wanted the more classic maserati and this is the last of of this of this one where it's uh you know the handmade engine from ferrari and shares parts from ferraris and stuff like that so anyhow i haven't started this thing since i parked it here in november my daily is way down there, my SRT, and that's uh, the girlfriend's BMW that we also use for daily driving. So it's been a while, so I'm going to check the air pressure because when I parked it, I overinflated all the tires to try to avoid any flat spots because I knew I wasn't going to be backing it in and out. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a look inside here this is what she looks like black wood black and white leather everything is pretty pristine this looks starting to show a little bit of wear but I didn't condition the front seats. I conditioned the whole rear and then got lazy and never finished the front. So I'm waste for that, but suede headliner, all of that's real wood everywhere, real leather everywhere. Hella expensive to replace these pieces. So these scuffs are crazy to me. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah. So, I'll give you a quick look under the hood. Maybe I'll back the car out. Yeah, I'll back it out into the sun. Let me do that. So, let me pause here. I'm going to set the camera down because this cold start is going to be crazy. One of the greatest things about Maseratis is their sound from the factory. Uh, my car is 100. Oh, man, I'm bright. Is it going to adjust? Let's wait. There we go. I was like straight white man just now. Um, one of the best features of a Maserati is its sound. My car currently is completely factory, 100%. It's a baby, low mileage, one owner car. Uh, was traded in a dealership for a newer one, so it's unmolested for now. But I don't know, what do you guys think? I've been thinking of doing some exhaust work, Maybe some suspension work, lowering the car a bit, giving it a nicer stance. Um, I was thinking about a set of nice wheels, set of nice 22s, some 40s or something. Um, I was also thinking about doing something on the inside because of the old, like the old infotainment. I was thinking about maybe um, swapping it out with some stuff I've seen where I could get touchscreen inside. So I don't know. But anyways, let me give you this cold start real quick. Because... 
pretty loud. So yeah, it starts off pretty loud and then it quiets down a bit. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit because like I said, it hasn't been started since November. So right now it's like almost the end of April. It's pretty much the end of April. So I'm gonna let it run for a bit, heat up the, heat up all of the liquids and stuff inside the oil and get this coolant and everything circulating. And then I'll, I'll pull it back show you the motor and the inside and whatever i think i'm gonna have to get it on the highway and whatever to blow it out because like i said it's been sitting so probably had some built up built up soot or who knows what carbon i don't know it's been sitting so we'll see in the meantime while it's running i'm gonna get my tire pressure my tire pressure gauge and um see what the tire pressures are at after sitting for five or six months. Let's see what it's supposed to be in this car anyways. So for anybody that doesn't know, ever wonder what your tire pressure is supposed to be? It's always somewhere in the door. So here it is on mine and it says, if it will focus, come on you can focus. It says 32 PSI for the front and 29 PSI for the backs. So I'm gonna check that shortly. All right, so we're gonna walk down to my other car because I think I have one in the other car. We're getting to my daily here and I forgot my keys, but luckily I have an app for that. So my car, I can unlock it from my phone because I'm fancy like that. So this is my daily. Again, anybody that's new to the channel. So 2006 SRTA Magnum. Super rare and mine needs a little bit of TLC. This is just some paint I experimented with But yeah, I'm gonna have to get this a nice polish and and wash So let's see here if I can find Ah bingo But yeah, give you a full look around this here that's what's really important. SRT8. And no, just in case there's any haters, it is not a clone. Seats, check. Stitching, check. Kicker speakers, check. And what's really real. Six point one liter Hemi, check. Real SRT, no clones. Anyways, let's get back to the other car. Uh, let's lock this one. Hit lock, and just like that. All right. <laughs> And that's what a Maserati sounds like stock. So, this is the car out in the open, so kind of parked up on a little angle, but you see this gap here? I want to get rid of that gap. I want to bring it all the way down. And then also if you notice the wheels are inside the arches. I don't like that. I want to bring the wheels out right out to here so that we get a nice stance well, it looks like some discoloring on the rotors too sometimes parking your car is worse than driving it regularly because stuff seizes up start stuff sits and gets etched into things the car is filthy I'm gonna have to get it a wash but uh, yeah, so that's another thing that's weird about these cars. If you look, see how tucked in the wheel is? Like you don't even see it. So I want the wheels to come out a bit more to give it a better, a better stance. So that's either gonna be 
some spacers with the stock wheels and I'll drop it or I'm gonna get some custom wheels ordered that have offsets that will allow the wheels to come out how I want but I mean as you can see the back is pretty wide I mean the tires are currently 285s they're supposed to be 295s but I got them with the 285s and didn't change them yet because I didn't know if I was gonna do wheels yet or whatever if I end up keeping the factory wheels then I'm gonna put a nicer tire on here a Continental or a Michelin preferably uh, let me show you one of the best parts of this car so besides the styling of course because that's what's sexy about this car everybody's about this right here uh, this thing is kind of hard to open dirty in here can't wait to get a good uh good detail in here but this is the 4.7 liter v8 um shares the block i believe someone can correct me in the comments because people love correcting people but the block on this is shared with the f430 if i'm not mistaken so Ferrari textured valve covers and all that so probably gonna have to get an oil change because the car has been sitting for six months and I might have to do a couple of the belts but other than that the car has been babied so it's in pretty good condition I can't lie guys, I've been itching to get this thing out. I walk by it in the garage almost every day. And to keep it 100 with you, like the payment on this car isn't the lowest the car payment could be. So to be paying for something every month and not being able to drive it, it's kind of driving me crazy. So I couldn't take it anymore. I said, today's the day. Let me pull it out, at least go for a quick drive and then uh i'll have to get it get it detailed oh yeah shout out always shout out to sean otto that ca the rabbi those are my people i got the car from greatest people to work with when getting a car so if you need a car and you're in the gta or even outside of the gta because they they ship they ship they ship out to the west coast they ship wherever in canada at least definitely hit them up i'm gonna leave there description their info in the description below but i got this car from got this car from shine auto my guy rabbi really hooked it up made sure the car was in pristine condition before i took delivery of it even though it took took a while because the parts are hard to get and you have to get specific people to work on the car and whatever and they didn't want to cut any corners he made sure everything was done the best way no cutting corners so it took a while to get done but i didn't mind because i knew once i got it it would be it would be good so but yeah that's that's my baby it's my maserati so if you're new to the channel those are my two cars i hope to be doing a lot more a lot more content with both cars. Let me close this because this shit's loud. But yeah, I'm going to be looking to do a lot more content with um, both cars. Let me see some cameras. Maybe that's better. So yeah, let me know. Should I start doing work on this car? Like suspension, wheels. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about on the interior. This is what I'm talking about. This is the worst part of this car. This old, this old infotainment system here. So I saw online there's something that replaces this whole thing with a touchscreen, like a Tesla. So it relocates this button up to the top, I think, 
and allows this to go further down and then you get like a full 12.1 inch touch screen going all the way down so let me know what i should do should i leave the inside of the car keep it classic maserati don't touch don't mess with the oem aesthetic of it or should i update it to bring it into the 20s what are we 21st 20th century or whatever 21st century and yeah have a nicer more modern look on the inside i think i'm leaning towards oh so now i'm a little bit dark huh this is a new camera by the way so i'm getting used to shooting with this so you should notice a difference in the video i decided to invest in in my um channel and get a new camera a g7x mark iii but anyways um you guys let me know because this is what i've been trying to think should i do all of the work on my sit8 on my magnum i could go full crazy in that car that car is a older car it's fully owned and all of that stuff so i could go crazy on that car and because i have both cars i can afford for one of them to be down getting worked on for a little bit and drive the other one in the meantime so I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Should I go crazy in the in the Magnum? Like go do exhaust, suspension, uh, I don't know. It's like I said, the, the Magnum is also stock except for I had changed the, I had added a little tune, like a basic, not no professional tune, just a can tune. I'd got a, a Diablo Sport in tune and I had loaded one of the, the canned stock tunes that come with it. So besides that, there's nothing done to the Magnum. So I haven't done exhaust, I haven't done suspension, I haven't done anything to the motor. And to be honest, the motor's been feeling a little bit tired. So I don't know, maybe it's time to do a build on the motor. Like should I rebuild the motor? Should I try to supercharge it? Like what do you guys think I should do? Or seeing as this car is a car that not a lot of people when i search on youtube part of the reason that i wanted to even get this car is i couldn't find anything i could hardly find any videos of some of the newer quattroporti like there's some on the older like 07s 08s and stuff like that but a lot of people don't realize that the cars look very similar but 20 10 and newer or 09 on newer there was a facelift and they also did some improvements to the motor and some parts and stuff like that increased horsepower so did a few things in the later models of this car before they went to the new one so i couldn't find anything online with anybody that had done pretty much anything to these cars when you search maserati and exhaust and all that stuff it's always the gran turismo the the coupe that comes up so that was a part of the reason why I wanted to get this car too, is to have something different and maybe be one of the, amongst the first to like really do some stuff to, to one of these cars. So let me know, should I instead put the money into this car and, you know, do some, I wouldn't go crazy in this car just cause it's so finicky and parts are expensive and it's expensive to service so but i'm definitely open to you know exhaust um wheels suspension stuff like that um and like i mentioned before the the um infotainment i my background is in 12 volt electronics so that doesn't intimidate me as at that doesn't intimidate me either like taking apart the the dash and fitting some new electronics in the car that doesn't really bother me that much but um yeah let me let me know. Do try to do something crazy in the older car that's probably been done a bunch of times before, or really try to start working on this car and doing a, a build in this car and updating some stuff and upgrading some stuff in the Maserati four door. So you guys let me know. I'll be I'll be checking the comments to see what you think. So I'm back from the little drive. Everything felt good. Everything felt like when I parked it. Um, 
I'm gonna have to go get an oil change because it's been six months since the car's been sitting. So I'm gonna go get a oil change with the European synthetic whatever Maseratis take. And then besides that, the belt for the, actually that's what I should have checked, the AC. But anyways, the belt for the alternator or the AC, one of the two, an accessory belt. Uh, when I had it up on a lift last year, my cousin was the mechanic, Jantino. Um, you notice there was like some little, couple little cracks in the belt, so obviously a sign of wear and it's ready to be replaced. So I look about doing that belt. Um, I'll do the air filter at the same time as the oil change. On these cars, I can get a BMC filter. That's the reusable filter that breathes more and is better than the, the OEM factory filter. I think it's like a $200 filter though, but whatever. It is what it is, it's a Maserati. So I'll do that filter, that belt, cause it's all in the same area. Oil change, and then yeah, I'll wait to listen to hear from you guys to see should I order the the X pipe? So basically, uh, the X pipe is a resonator resonator delete. So it deletes a couple of resonators in the front portion of the exhaust system after the catalyst, and uh, goes into a X pipe, which gives you a better sound, better flow, more power. But I mostly want to do it for sound. And um, the tires, I didn't like these tires that were on here when I bought the car. They're new, but I don't like the, I've never liked the way they felt. So I'm either gonna order a new set of rims, which would be some 22, probably 4Gs or Savinis or something. I'm leaning toward 4Gs, of course, cause it's 4G gang. Um, and if I do that, then I'll definitely make sure to get a, a nicer tire or I might first, which I think I might have to do anyway, just to make sure everything fits properly. I might first get the lowering springs. Now there's two options. There is the H&R springs that have a 0.7 inch drop. And then there's the Formula Dynamic springs, which have a 1.5 inch drop. I'm leaning towards the 1.5 because honestly, I, a car that's so long like this, like I don't know if you guys can tell how long this car is, but like, this car is literally, I'll get the measurement and put it in the video, but it's literally to the end of the garage here. Like it's definitely longer than the X3. Come on, the room is behind the X3. So, I mean, this car is up a little bit more, but barely, like if you look down to the back on both of these, like this is a long car, so something about a long, low car, like sitting low, just looks sexy to me. So I think my first thing I'm gonna do is do X-pipe, lowering springs and spacers to see what the stance is like on the 20s. And if I don't like it, because I feel the wheel might be a little bit too small for this big car, like look at the wheel wells, then I'll have to go 22s lowered and go from there but definitely want to get the maintenance stuff out of the way first don't get crazy into modifications without making sure your car is not sound in the mechanical department yeah so. guys i think i'll end there took it for a drive felt strong felt faster than i remembered the car because it's been a while since i've driven it it's making beautiful sounds i took it on the highway blasted up a, a country road back and forth and and it feels good i was put a smile on my face to to get back in my italian stallion my my beauty to my beast so for you guys that don't know i call the maseratis the beauty and the srt is the black beast so that's my beauty and the beast love story and that's it uh like i said comment below let me know should i build up the magnum srt8 or should i start doing mods to the maserati since it's less common and also, should I get 22s? Should I do the lowering first? Let me know, but those are all of the things I'm contemplating. Oh yeah, and don't forget the inside, the interface, changing that whole thing out with a touch screen. So that thing is like, I think a $1,200 or so. So basically, the price of doing the touch screen interface 
would basically cover the price of doing the lowering springs and the exhaust. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in, and hopefully, as the weather gets better and we get out of this lockdown, hopefully I can get back to some car meets and, and way more car stuff, but I'll try to bring you what I can bring you. I've been lazy, admittedly, so I still have some more stuff I could give you guys, but for now, I'm out. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the summertime so I can start really doing some stuff, all right? Thanks for the support.